Hello gentlemen, this is Soman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. We will be basically discussing today what is a hydro test manifold, what is a hydro test header, how it is differing, how to test a manifold, how to design a manifold, what should be the test pressure, what will happen if the manifold need to be repaired. We are generally using hydro test manifold or hydro test uh, header in our pipelines or piping as a safety device uh, where we can attach all of our equipment accessories to raise the pressure during hydro test safely. Since it is related with safety, there are a lot of particular requirements which may differ a little bit uh, client to client, but basic is the same to make a safe hydro test to avoid any accidents. So let us start with the question, what is hydro test manifold? A pressure test manifold is used for performing a hydro test. The pressure test manifold has the required provisions to test and protect the piping system subject to hydro test. Since the manifold is constructed at high pressure rating and equipped with non-return valves and calibrated safety pressure relief valves and more than one positive isolation valves, it is working as a safety device to protect the system and people from any accident due to overpressure. What is hydro test header then? Unlike hydro test manifold, test headers are made with the same pipe from the pipeline but with higher rating valves to isolate the hydro test system from overpressure. Hydro test manifold to be used for one or all hydro tests for the piping, pipeline or valve testing to facilitate water filling, dewatering, layup, etc. Whereas, test headers are specifically prepared for the pipeline with the same diameter and rating and sometimes it is directly welded to the pipeline and sometimes it is a flanged connection but it is entirely made for only one diameter. So, it is not multi-purpose. Let's say you make a 30 inch hydro test header. So, it can be used only for the hydro test of the piping or pipeline of 30 inch diameter only. So hydro test manifold can be used for all the diameter. It is a general safety device and hydro test header are specifically prepared for each and every diameter. You can see some photos taken from our site about the hydro test manifold and hydro test header. So you will have a clear idea what I am talking about. How to decide the manifold rating initially? We got a project, so we need to decide the rating of the hydro test manifold before we design or before we start preparing. Generally, manifolds are used by the following parties like construction contractor, LSPB, LSTK or construction subcontractor who are building plans, pipelines for their clients. It can be used by the service provider serving the clients or contractor to perform hydro test related activities for new projects, maintenance and rehabilitation tests, etc. And it can be directly used by the plant owners or facility owners who are using manifolds for their own system check, revalidation, maintenance, re-verification of the system, etc. Deciding the rating of the hydro test manifold of the test header. Construction contractor generally making their manifolds or header on project basis. Hydro test engineer studies the project drawing to extract the minimum and maximum hydro test pressure and pressure rating for the project. Example, if project rating is 600 pound, then generally all the fittings valve seat rating should be 900 pound or 1500 pound why? Because the hydro test manifold has to withstand at least 1.2 times of the maximum hydro test pressure for the project. Design and mandatory requirements for manifold. The design of the manifold shall be in accordance with the applicable construction code. The test manifold shall be designed by the responsible engineering group and constructed to meet the minimum system requirements and approved by the engineering division head of the operating facilities or responsible project quality manager or senior supervisor in new construction. All the joints shall be welded. The designer shall specify the weld size in the design in case socket weld manifolds are used. All threaded connections, upstream or block valves shall be seal welded. Test manifold shall have 100% NDT for all the wells. 
Here you can see some schematic diagram design of a hydrotest manifold. Materials are listed with an MTO. Then we are writing the purpose of the manifold that it will be used for the pipeline hydrotest. All materials are from approved supplier. NDT is required for all the joints. And here are the product which made with the same design you can see on the left a glance of the picture after it is prepared and implemented at site. Sample calculations of design pressure of hydrotest manifold. This portion is little bit uh, boring but you can know this is a very easy formula and at the beginning we need to have the input is the design pressure of a manifold. This should come from the project. If a project is 600 pound and the test pressure never goes beyond the 600 pound rating, so that will be the design pressure. So we should prepare a manifold which can withstand 1.2 times of that pressure. But before going for the materials and fittings, we shall calculate the pressure it can be handled. Let us go one by one, it will be very easy for you. Uh, we need the simple formula to calculate the maximum working pressure handled by each and every pipes, fittings, valve and another component used in the manifold. Finally, we have to add up the minimum value which will be the limiting factor and the design pressure of the manifold. The formula as per ASME B31.3 um, para 304.1.2 P pressure is equal to 2 AC WT divided by D minus 2 TY. So for 18 schedule 160 pipe, let's say this is the body of the manifold, main body. So grade B pipe, the P here is the internal design pressure. S is equal to 20,000 PSI or 60 degree, minimum allowable stress as per B31.3, table A1. And E1 is the joint efficiency, T is equal to 23.01. D is equal to diameter here 8 inch 219.1 mm. W is equal to 1. It is the well joint strength at least same with the pipe material. And Y is equal to 0.4 which is the coefficient as per B31.3 2016 table 304.1. So here the calculation for 8 inch schedule 160, 106 grade B pipe, if you put all the values, you stop the slide and you can check the formulas, maximum design pressure it can handle 4586 PSI. And similarly, we did the calculation for 2 inch schedule 160 which can handle 6558 PSI. Then we go for the small fittings, 314 schedule XXX SMLS pipe. So this is used as a nipple. So it can handle 15,331 PSI. For half inch schedule XXS, it can handle 19,400 PSI. ASTM A105 class 2500 valve at 60 degree centigrade. Temperature also important, the working temperature. The working pressure is 6170 PSI from the ASTM standard itself. If we use these fittings, what is calculated here, then this manifold can take a design pressure of 4586 PSI, which is limited by 18 schedule 160 A106 grade B pipe. Now, let us calculate the hydrotest pressure for this manifold, which it can handle maximum. Here, the hydrotest pressure, we are calculating generally based on 90% of the specified minimum yield strength or SMYS or uh, 1.5 times the design pressure. So, let us see 8 inch uh, schedule 160 grade B pipe. Here, the formula is also simple. PT, the test pressure, is equal to 2 into 0.9 means 90% of SMOIS multiplied by SMOIS and multiplied by the wall thickness and divided by the diameter. Very simple formula. So if you put all this value in the formula, it can handle a hydro test pressure of 5789 PSI. If you check the same for uh, class 2500 valve, it can handle 1.5 times the design pressure which is 6170 which see in the previous slide. So now it can handle 9255 PSIG. As per client requirement, hydrotest manifold shall be tested at least 1.2 times of the hydrotest pressure. So now if we go check each and every component and then, they, then we find the minimum test pressure which is limited by the 8 inch pipe here. Observed maximum hydro test pressure of our project let's say 4500 PSI. So the manifold test pressure must be 1.2 multiplied by 4500 so 5400 PSI. 
So, the final conclusion will be test manifold can withstand the pressure of 5789 psi limited by 8 inch pipe. So, manifold test pressure is 5400 psi which is required for our project which is more than also the discharge pressure of the pump. Hope you guys understand this. So, now the material take off just for your look. You can see the materials here, seamless pipe, weld related, get valve, check valve, this is the safety device. So there must be a check valve, reducers, plug, nipples and all should be procured from the approved source. So this is material takeoff for your information only. Now we have to test a manifold to prove its integrity before we deploy it in our project. So, test manifold for new construction shall be revalidated for each new project. Suitable NDT shall be performed to verify possible thickness reductions. Manifold shall be re-rated according to the actual thickness during the revalidation process. For maintained potential projects and operating facilities, the revalidation shall be every three years. The revalidation pressure testing shall be 1.2 times of the system test pressure. To maintain this 1.2 times pressure rating, the fittings and valves to be selected higher rating that of the system rating while designing a manifold. For example, 600 rating system needs a manifold with 900 pound valve to hold or stop the hydro test pressure with the valve seat as and when required. System requirements include pressure and temperature ratings on piping and fittings for the equipment and piping being tested. Pressure testing manifold package. This is important before we do the test because the client inspector will review whatever NDT we did, what design, all the requirement he will comply one by one. And uh, then there will be a checklist finally after the test witness, they will approve the manifold to use in the site. They have to see it is safe to use on the site and all safety recommendation has been taken care of. The testing manifold shall be designed by the project designer. Material specification are great for the structural pipes, fitting, hoses, flanges and gaskets as applicable. All material used shall be traceable to manufacturer's test certificate or MTC. Pressure and temperature rating for all piping, fittings and hoses and the valves should be part of the manifold package. For thread type of fitting, leak testing shall be conducted using non-detergent based solution to ensure threads are full engaged prior to seal weld. NDT of the butt and fillet weld joints of the manifold to be attached. External surface blasting and painting of the manifold, not for the stainless steel, for carbon steel manifold, that report should be attached. Recommended test pressure of the manifold and the test pressure limits of the manifold. A specific serial number to be assigned to the manifold for a unique identification. Here are the checklist I told you, this has to be verified before the final signature, just for your information. The testing manifold shall be designed by the project designer for new projects or engineering group for operating facilities. Is Yes. Test manifold shall have 100% NDT of all wells. Yes. Material specification and grade of the structural pipes, fittings, hoses and flanges. This one has verified, yes. Hydro test, test certificate, signed and stamped and attached, yes. Manifold arrangement diagram, yes, attached. Manifold components, details should be specified on drawings and which covers but not limited to class, rating and size. Isolation valve should be one class higher than the system tested. Witness the pressure test by inspector from the client. You see all these items, there is no way it is not complied. So these are all mandatory requirements. Here is a hydro test typical arrangement to let you know where we are installing the manifold. You can see it is very well described in this simple sketch how a manifold is connected to the whole system and assisting a hydro test as a very good safety device. So here are some test head also, it is almost the same, preparation method also same but manifold since it is using all over the project for each and every line, each or every system testing. So that is more uh, means uh, restricted for the fabrication, design and all these things. Test head are generally uh, not designed because it is the same pipe, we are using a piece of pipe to attach some valve for the filling 
for the pressurizing for draining of the pipeline hydro test water so test data generally witnessed by the project inspectors and we are preparing hydro test small package and hydro test report that's it hope you guys have a clear idea in your mind about the hydro test headers and the hydro test manifold its design if you have any queries you can put in the comment box below if you like the way of my teaching please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the like button and refer to your friends and the known who wants to learn also thank you signing off showman for today